Welcome to the second OpenShift Commons gathering here in Berlin. The last time we did this was in Seattle. There were 175 of you. It was the day before KubeCon again. And now there are, I think, 220 of you here, which is pretty amazing for just a couple of months. And a lot of good work has gone in from the whole OpenShift team and the Red Hat team here in EMEA, so I want to thank them. There's a lot of them in the room, too. And I'm going to put the volume up a little bit more. Is it enough volume? Okay, I'm gonna speak closer to the mic. So um, my name is Diane Mueller. Many of you have seen me sort of virtually on some of the OpenShift Commons briefings and a lot of you have seen me try and coerce you into doing other things around the community. So the key for us is um, OpenShift Origin is the project that all of the OpenShift projects and products are, are based on and it's really about creating um, the community and the connections today between you, uh, your peers, the people who are the upstream project leads that are in the house, and trying to branch and connect all of the different communities, whether you're on the commercial side of the house or the open source side of the house, and get you all to connect and talk to each other and collaborate. Um, what we're really looking for today is to change sort of the model of open source connectedness in a way so that you have the faces and the names to the people and the peers that you um, need to connect with to make sure that your jobs and your deployments of OpenShift or the work that you're doing on Kubernetes feeds into the OpenShift upstream um, projects. And today, what we really want to do is make sure that everybody participates. There'll be some Q&A, there's some microphones that we'll have that we'll be able to pass it, you know, pass them back and forth and you can ask questions. There's a couple of um, good panels here that we've got lots of people who volunteered to come and be there um, and be part of today. So make sure that you connect with the people that are sitting next to you, the people that are around you at lunchtime and in the breaks and the afternoon uh, in the evening beer reception as well. So um, as you know, there's a ton of projects that feed into OpenShift origin. So I always put this sort of ubiquitous um, bubble here, and there's really not even a, th a third of the projects that feed into OpenShift Origin and that make up the project. So we really know that we have a lot of dependencies internally to Red Hat, to other projects that are being built out by Red Hatters, and externally to the other projects there. And they feed into the three main projects or products from OpenShift that many of you are using today, Enterprise, OpenShift Dedicated, and OpenShift Online. And that's really... Um, But really what I like to look at it is, is it's a, the balloon should be coming from both ways. There's a lot of you in the room um, that have got projects and products that run on top of OpenShift that help make OpenShift a more complete offering for enterprises. Um, I'd like you all to feel like you're part of this community and that we really depend on you to make sure that it's a rich, wonderful experience of using OpenShift. And so when we do this, um, Every year we go through and we figure out um, who we should get to speak at these events. And the reality of it is it's only one day and if I had three days I would make everybody come and speak. But what we've tried to do is bring many of the project leads, some of the people that you'll see at KubeCon over the next couple of days, some of the vendors who will be up at KubeCon um, in the, the booths up there. Um, to here to sort of give you a head start on the next couple of days and a head start if you're not going to KubeCon on your implementations on, on who's who in the community. So um, one of the things that we really try and push from an open source perspective is um, that it's not just about contributing to OpenShift origin. It's more about um, where OpenShifters, there's a lot of engineers from the Red Hat teams here who are contributing into Kubernetes itself um, and into another, you know, Prometheus and to Docker and to the other pieces and parts, OCI, um, and the C all of the CNCF projects that are going to be talked about today and over this, the coming week. And we know that it's a two-way street, so if there's feedback you have for us, we want to hear it. Um, if there's things on the roadmap that you want to hear about or see prioritized a little bit higher, ask us about it and we will try and turn off the volume on my phone here. So one of the things that we, um, we know is that there's at least four, five, six, seven um, projects now in um, the CNCF pro uh, group 
under their umbrella being incubated. Container D and Rocket just got added into the mix. So there's going to be folks um, later today coming in from the CNCF, Alex Richardson, who's going to give us a sort of a picture of what it means to be cloud native and where those things fit into the puzzle that is OpenShift and the projects that you're trying to build and deploy. And what we also know is that there are a huge amount of you from lots of different places across this globe um, in the room. And from the registration bits um, that I went through as of like two days ago, there were 25 different countries represented in the people who registered just for this event. All right, we've been, we're in over 50 plus countries now. We have meetups everywhere around the world. Uh, so there's lots of ways to connect this community and to keep everything going. Um, there are 50 member organizations here that are part of the OpenShift Commons. And I'm just gonna keep advancing because we... So what the real future looks like, and I'm gonna keep running through here, one more if I could click this, is really to try and figure out how to create this model so that it works for everyone. Um, not everybody can be in the room. A lot of the stuff that we do is virtual. So I do every week at least one or two virtual briefings and meetups for SIGs. So you'll see my face opening um, meetings and things like that through blue jeans. And if you're not part of the, um, the OpenShift Commons yet, I'd really encourage you by the end of today to, to see me and sign up so we can get you on the mailing list. There is a Slack channel um, that we use. We try and use as many of the tools that we can to keep us connected virtually. Um, there's great um, Trello boards. Um, Slack channel is pretty active. Lots of folks out there um, are connecting that aren't here today. And the only thing I didn't do today was live stream this, which maybe the next time we're gonna have to do that. So really what we're trying to do is figure out the best way to make as many connections here today as possible. So if you're um, someone, I think Deutsche Borse came in last night about 2 a.m. and asked to be put on the wait list and they should be here. And they probably haven't met most everybody in the room, but by the end of today and the end of this week, hopefully they'll have been connected with everybody upstream and everybody on the OpenShift team. So what we really like to do is not be anonymous. So one difference, I think, between this community and other communities in the open source world is we really um, encourage you not to use your Gmail um, when you sign up for the mailing list. We really ask you to identify you know, who your corporate sponsor is, who you're working with, what project you're working on, so that people have a way of, of knowing who to reach out to and talk to. Because it's not all about um, Red Hat or me being the gatekeeper for this community. We want you to be able to have those peer-to-peer -peer connections without us in the middle, so that they're maybe more open and more honest and you're sharing that information a little bit more. So one thing we do know is that you guys talk a lot. Um, you got, we've got over let's see, 877 different authors on the, the repos in GitHub, and that's just the GitHub stuff alone. Um, we've got tons of people doing pull requests, people on the Slack channel, people in a Stack Overview. There's lots of chatter going on. Um, what we're trying to do is make sure that that is all constructive. It's a very healthy and vibrant open source community. Um, we want to keep it that way and that's why these gatherings will be doing one. We're doing one here. We're going to do one the day before Red Hat Summit on May 1st if you're coming to Boston and we'll do another one at the Austin um, KubeCon as well. So we're just going to keep a cadence of these actual physical um, events going on so that we can um, make sure that it's the virtual is just not enough. We need to really have that face time too. So we're gonna keep trying to do that and I'll do another one. So really the, the one very interesting thing to me is that um, the community collaboration and all this communication, when we first started doing this new model, um, well, when I first started being sort of a community manager for OpenShift, it was all about getting the folks here in the room to contribute code to origin. It really, my focus, and the focus of most open source community managers is trying to herd cats so they'll contribute some code, make a pull request, do that feedback. And what we're really um, worried about in the beginning was that by, um, by including all of these different pieces and parts, the vendors, the end users, and that, that um, we were losing our focus on getting code contribution. And if we go to the next slide, 
one of the things that became very clear is we don't have the picture of that. Well, um, there's a nice pie chart that should be on there, but that's all right, we'll survive with it. We have over 50 organizations from Google, who's here in the room, to small um, Globo in Brazil, to Get Up Cloud in Brazil, to people all over the world are making um, new contributions um, every, every month. We've got a huge spike in that. If we go to one more slide. So one of the things that's really clear is that this model of collaboration has made for uh, an uptick, a very seriously nice uptick in new developers coming to the project. And we're really pleased with that. We're seeing people from Amadeus, from all of the, the different projects that people are now deploying OpenShift in are starting to add value and starting to, from everything from documentation to pull requests on networking issues, all kinds of really good insights from now it being on in production at scale at all of these companies. And we really are seeing a lot more people contributing to um, the project, which is phenomenal for us. So the thing I'm gonna keep iterating on is everybody, if you're not, because I know about 50% of you in the room are not in the OpenShift Commons yet, which means you're not on the mailing lists, you're probably not listening to me blather on about um, weekly topics on the briefings, and you're not on the Slack channel. So by the end of today, there's a form on commons.openshift.org. Go there or see me and we'll sign you up. So today's agenda really is not about me and it's really not about Red Hat selling you any products or getting anything. It's about you participating in the conversation. Um, so we're done with the welcome part. We're gonna have a, a very tight schedule because we're already like 10 minutes late off schedule as it is. Um, we're going to hear today on some of the emerging technology trends and challenges and for the digital transformation from Chris Wright from Red Hat. Then we're going to hear from Google um, and hear about what their point of view is on Kubernetes 1.6 and the road ahead. We're going to get then um, Clayton somewhere in the back is going to come up and talk about um, OpenShift 3.5 or as I call it 3.x because it's a moving target every time I turn around there's a new number there. And then we're going to actually hear, we're going to take a little break after um, Clayton, and then um, we're going to have T-Systems come up and talk about um, big data on OpenShift and their implementation of OpenShift here. And then we will, um, just before lunch, we're going to do the upstream this um, panel, which will give a chance for many of the upstream project leads to come, and um, a new member of the Red Hat team, Stormy Peters, is going to be the moderator for that. And then we've done one little switch in the afternoon to accommodate someone's schedules. Um, we're going to start off with Alex Richardson um, from uh, the CNCF's uh, technical committee chairman. Um, and the CEO of Weaveworks is going to come up and talk about what it means to be a cloud native. Um, then we're going to hear from Volvo. I think Robert's in the room, I'm hoping. Yes, Robert's in the room. He's, wait, he's probably working on his slides right now. Um, <laughs> And then we're going we're gonna to have bring it together a panel of people from um, one, one or two from each walk of um, the community. So some service providers, some end users, some open source project leads, and, and get, um, allow them to give feedback directly to the community and their thoughts on what they need to see in the road ahead. And then we're going to hear from Amadeus. And then we're going to get... Um, a little snippet about the future um, or the current state of containers, the container ecosystem from Vincent Batts, who's a member of the Open Container Initiative. And then we're gonna get one um, really interesting talk, um, I hope, um, someone who's just come out of the Open Innovation Labs working on a mobile app in healthcare, Easier AG is gonna come up and give us a talk and hopefully inspire us a little bit. And then there will be beer. So first off, um, we do things a little differently at lunch, or at least we try. Um, you will see when you go out to lunch, there will be little table tents um, with topics on them. There are special interest group topics, and if you don't see your special interest group topic there um, and you have a different one, let me know, and we have some blank ones and we can add those there. So we're trying to encourage people to um, gather at lunchtime and talk about the things that are of interest to them. I've tried to um, make sure that there's one person from each of those topics who will lead that conversation at the table. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. I've got one more. Um, 
the word about the evening uh, around 5.30, if we're timely, um, in the back room where we had lunch, there will be some beer and sausage and typical German stuff. Um, and <laughs> I'm, it's the good stuff. I'm German, I love this stuff. And then tonight, um, the CNCF actually is kicking off at around 7 p.m. So if you have uh, passes to KubeCon upstairs, there'll be some lightning talks. And I know there's at least one by an open shifter um, going on. So there'll be some um, movement upstairs to the bigger room. And the thing that um, the next time I do this in Berlin, we will rent the upstairs room. Okay, I promise we'll have more chairs in, in that. Um, because we turned away about uh, 50 people, and I'm really amazed at the progress that um, OpenShift and the Red Hat team has made here in, um, in EMEA. Um, we have folks that have come from Norway and Sweden and Turkey and um, unbelievable um, places. That there are a few folks signed up from China even, so I'm, I'm waiting to see if ZTE showed up in the house. Maybe, maybe not. So anyways, I'm going to ask... Um, one more slide, I think there's one more slide. Um, so I really wanna get started. Uh, Chris Wright is hiding somewhere here, and come on up and let's get your slides. And this is gonna be interesting to see. Um, Chris is our, uh, I'll let him introduce himself, but uh, let's see if we can get his slides up and I'm gonna go sneak down over here. So thank you all and um, please enjoy the day. <laughs> 